I had an opportunity to use the D2B reel, which is a 165 foot uh, large push rod with the newer cable, the nylon cable, along with the one inch self leveling camera head and the extra long extended spring with the kind of an inner core spring. Uh, advantages that I find already in the RM200 reel, uh, advantage is it's compact, it can be set up anywhere. It can be set up on rough terrain, roofs, anywhere. You don't have to worry about the reel rotation. But the greatest feature is 165 feet is usually the limit on most push rods anyways. Even though you might have a 200 foot reel or a 325 foot reel, you're not gonna be pushing much more than 165 anyways. The great thing about it is I can push with ease. It's uh, stiff enough, it's rigid enough, and it's straight enough where it doesn't zig and zag. Uh, the extended spring makes it get around the turns easier. And of course, the one inch self-leveling head is incredible. Uh, the picture, the clarity, the size, I was able to push through an inch and a half clean out immediately into two inch and then continue on into three inch. So that's a huge advantage. It covers my uh, small inch and a half all the way up through six inch with ease. The ease ability of switching over from the large reel to the small reel in the RM200 is uh, amazing. It's probably the one camera that can do all. If I had one camera in the truck, um, that's the one I would choose. The RM200 with both uh, cassettes and you're home free.